Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve behind the camera. We've got Tomas in studio today helping out with He's some helping things out. in case there's questions and stuff. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you for joining. We are going over helmets and face masks and visors. We're doing all that today. We're doing a custom build for a concept piece. Steve, this is for Tomas's girlfriend. Is that right? She's a big Colts fan. She's a big Colts fan. I know. So go yeah. figure. Yeah. So this is we're going to go right at this thing, and she's going to love this. You know, who knows what if she's going to wear it when <laughs> Tomas and you know they're hanging out watching games. Lady, stuff. lady in blue, maybe. Yeah. 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 Right. So um, what we have here, Steve, is a Shut F7 VTD. Super, super sweet paint job. So we got a bunch of these done in the satin colors, and. People are really liking these. How could you not? First off, it's a sexy helmet to begin with, I think. It's growing on me more and more in the beginning when this helmet came out. I was like, I'm not sure, especially with all the, you know, these tectonic plates and the way there's all the gaps in here. Um, but I like it more and more every time we work with them. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a shock 1.0 visor and we're putting in a blue shock insert into this. So that's going to look really nice. So we've got the unbranded shut elite chin strap no brand steve just like in the nfl so if you're looking for that unbranded look we've got them here we got them white and black over at greengridiron.com uh then we've got the decals we're going to figure out the number kind of as we go we've got 3d bumpers we're putting on here some embossed deck flags all that good stuff we're going to really kind of show you how easy it is to build these helmets start with the stripe whoa getting the hard part out of the way i don't know if it's hard or not i haven't done it I can't say. <laughs> we'll see so what we're doing here is last time we did a helmet with a stripe, I basically cut with scissors as we went along and repositioned. This time we're gonna put the stripe in and we're gonna then just exact or actually uh, use some box cutters. Well, people watched that and they were either agreeing or disagreeing with you, Jay. They were like, oh, I would have laid the whole thing down, then cut it. Some people said they would have done the same way. Personally, I would do it this way. I'd lay the whole thing down then cut it and you just got to be careful with the paint but other than that you're good just be careful with the paint is that is that all no pressure i mean this is a, a high-end paint job i'll tell you that yep suck this in back here got to give shot credit man they make these bumpers tight to the helmet they do which i like some of the older helmets it's almost like you can't get them to stay on or if you bend them back they kind of stay bent back these go right back to where they belong so let's get our our blade here we put a fresh blade in here hey before you do that you sure we even want to cut it kind of looks cool solid you know what let's leave it to the end how's that Steve? yeah let's decide we'll, we'll, we'll see how it looks all said and done after. now that we teased everybody with cutting it i know right <laughs> So this is white vinyl. But no, it's not. All right, Steve, we are looking very cultish. And I have a question for everybody. Do you like this color? Do you think the cults should switch to this color? How would that take their uniforms? Positive direction, negative direction, are you a purist? So Steve, I'm, I'm nothing against Sports Star, but I'm struggling a little bit with these top snaps. I really gotta put some force and pressure on it. Yeah. We put the Douglas Easy Pro snaps on the bottom. It's a dream, Steve, it's a dream. <laughs> If you haven't checked these things out yet, do yourself some serve justice. Well, try taking them off now and show people in case it's the first time. These things are not coming off until you press the release. So easy. I can't. No, you're Hold not. Off. It's not coming off. Boom. Done. Brilliant. Brilliant. We can't get enough of these things. Really? All right, Steve. Start from the bottom up. 3D bumper. Yeah, I went ahead and cut that for you. We gotta work on getting some F7 rear 3D bumpers. Yeah, so we're, you know, 
what we do in a pinch when we're doing with some of these builds is we just take a speed bumper and just cut it to kind of fit. Looks pretty good, but you know, for the teams, you know, we're working pretty closely with three bumpers and um, they've got F7 molds now. Perfect. Which are nice. And I, and I love these F7 bumpers. So do the, I. Or the ones that come from shot, you know? Yeah, I like how it has that side on the back where you can see the color through it. And there's no NFL team that does this, as far as I know. But we're going to put an American flag. This one's going to be an embossed tag. And we're going to put a state flag on here. How do you feel about that? I love it. I think that they should all have their state flags. Like, the Giants should have the New Jersey flag. Whoa. Steve. And, you know, the Jets can too. This one's gonna be busy. Throw it I, on there. I, I don't know. Blame it on me. Let's okay. see, let the people decide. Blame it on Steve. Everybody out there, you let us know. Do you like more stuff on the back of the helmet? Less, you know, decals and so forth on the back? I mean, you, I guess you can go overboard. All right, Steve, so here's our options here. So we're taking a sheet. We've got the one and the seven and the eight are gone. So what are you thinking? Uh, 69. 69. Go for it. Eve. I hope Tomas's girlfriend appreciates your choice. Yes, I'm, I'm okay with all of that. A lot going on here. Hopefully, hopefully Maddie will be all right with it. We'll see. We got the F7. Ropo SW with the shock 1.0 visor and shock blue insert in case you're wondering. Yeah, it's a clear sunset visor. So the visor already has Oh, this some is a clear blue. sunset? Yeah. Oh, Steve, I didn't realize this. So this is a clear sunset with a blue insert. So you can mix and match a little bit with that. Yeah, you create your own color scheme. And that's just how easy it is to put those quarter turn screws in. What's your decision on that stripe? You gonna leave it now or you cut it? Whew. Steve, what do you think? I kind of like it like it is and it'd be a hell of a lot easier. I agree. Yeah, so you tell us, next time we do a build with an F7, do you want the stripe cut? To cut so you basically have lines every single step of the way, it's about, I don't know, 10 or 12 cuts. Yeah, a lot. Or do you like it, just the stripe going over? Should I put this guy on? Sure, throw it on. Yeah, this guy looks here. Yeah, Absolutely. Go. Feels pretty good. Yeah, it feels nice. So here's the custom Colts F7 VTD with a uh, F7 Ropo SW face mask, shock 1.0 visor, shock 1.0 insert. We've got custom decals all around because obviously the cults wear blue decals not white decals and then we've got three bumpers we've got a bunch of flags and all that kind of stuff on the back and then we've got the unbranded the brand new unbranded shut elite hard cup chin straps we've got douglas easy pro snaps we've got sports star buckles we got a lot going on here and then we got we got you know we found some white under armor visor clips which makes this thing look Beautiful. It really does. And let's see if we can get the Colts to switch to blue helmets. I say yes. Like, subscribe, leave comments below. What team do you want to leave, see next? Let us know how you like this helmet. Let us know whether or not you like your stripe cut or not. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.